Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the race condition and procedure consumer problem. So basically, we will be concluding the procedure consumer problem with the conclusion of race condition. Okay. So what is procedure co producer consumer problem? Sorry, producer consumer problem. So basically, this is a small problem which we will be going through. Okay. So let us assume there are some, uh, how many blocks let us assume? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So we are having 10 slots and the producer is pr producing items and at this moment 5 slots are full 2, 3, 4, 5 Okay So the producer produced one more item So one block will be filled off Then the consumer consumed one item Means after some time So we will be taking three, 2 cases guys don't worry So after some time the consumer consumed an item So this will be removed and this will be moved, moved like that it will be done right so the value will becomes 5 instead of 6 you will be having only 5 in the counter so but there is a special case when the producer is producing and at that exact moment of time the consumer consumed the item okay so first producer produces the item and at that exact moment consumer consumed it so they both happened at the exact same time so unfortunately the producer incremented it that is nothing but 5 to 6 and the consumer decremented this value instead of decrementing this he decremented this so now the value became 4 so is this a correct approach 6 and 4 no the original should be 6 and 5 because he consumed only one item but one item is missing here so this is due to lack of process synchronization that's the reason why we study the synchronization guys because these kind of errors are really hectic when, we, when you are doing these kind of problems so the thing is that if producer produces one product the counter will become 6 then consumer consumes it it becomes 5 but if both producer and consumer tries to update it at the same time then this problem will be resulted okay so for this particular problem the solution is told by solution is given by a condition that is race condition so race condition is nothing but it says that there should be a block of code which should be access, which should be accessed by only one guy or one process at a time. That's what it says. It is the situation where several processes access and manipulate this manipulate some data concurrently, and the outcome of execution depends on the particular order in which the which is the access takes place. So, if there are some processes P1, P2, P3, they are trying to enter on the same time. There should be some thing that should take in counter that first this came, second this came, third this came. So according to that order we should be doing it. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So just give me a second guys, I'll be back in a moment. Okay guys, I hope everyone got a small idea. So the race condition, let us repeat it again. So it is a situation when several processes are trying to manipulate a single data, like several processes are trying to manipulate the single data. Then the outcome of execution depends on the particular order of how it is executed. So according to the execution, if first guy updated to 1 and second guy updated to 3 like that, if the increment takes place, the last guy increment will be the final answer. So it depends on that condition. So that is nothing but the race condition. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we will be going through critical section. So using critical section, we can solve this problem guys. So in the next tutorial, we will be going through critical section. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.